What's up guys, Josh Profits here. Um, in this video, I want to show you guys how exactly I find distributors, wholesalers, or brands to sell, um, uh, to sell for Amazon FBA wholesale. So a lot of people have this question. They have problems finding distributors. This is probably one of the most challenging parts uh, to the business model is actually finding distributors opening the retail accounts with them and um, and then finding profitable products from that catalog. Now I'm going to cover how to actually filter through the catalog um, in a separate video because that's a whole other topic. But for now I'm going to show you guys how I find distributors. So I do something called reverse sourcing. Now what that basically means is I go on to Amazon in my case, it's going to be Amazon.ca because that's where I sell from. If you're in the States, you're going to go into Amazon.com or whatever platform you're looking to sell on. And I will basically start by searching on these websites. So if you have a specific niche or category that you're interested in, I would recommend starting with that. But for now, we're just going to start with... Um, with just something completely random. So you can see my screen here. Basically what I'll do is I'll search something. Now in this case, let's click on like, I don't know, pet supplies. Now you're gonna open up a specific category or you're gonna search something, like I would search something in a, in a pet, um, a pet niche or you know the pet category. Now once you get to this uh, this page and you open up the category here you're going to want to filter it by best sellers and what this is going to do is it's going to start off as you can see here number one this is the number one best seller in the pet supply category and then number two number three and it's going to filter it down from there the reason you want to do this or the reason why you want to do this is because the whole idea of wholesale is that you want to sell hot, well-selling products. You want to sell stuff that's selling very well. It's selling lots of them. Um, you're going to be doing high volume because to be honest, I'll tell it to you guys how it actually is. Um, with this business model, your margins are lower than doing retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, um, private label, etc. That's the only downside to wholesale. But there are way more are way more pros, way more good things about wholesale than all the other uh, business models. So you're gonna find you're gonna filter by best sellers because we want to find the best sellers. Now what you're gonna do next is you're literally gonna be opening up every single one of these products like this. This is what I'll do. I'll open it in a new tab. Let me just open up a couple of these for you guys so I can show you what my thought process is, what exactly I do um, step by step. So I'm going to open up 12 of them in total. That's what I'll do. Because through 12, you should be able to see my thought process on this. Okay, so. I'll literally go one by one, opening them up in a new tab. I will still keep this page open. Now I will start with the second tab. Give it a second, it's loading right now. My computer is super slow from all the videos and all the crap I've put on here. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for when I open up these pages, guys. Um, number one, this product is being sold by Amazon. You can see that right here ships from and sold by amazon.ca now this is a number one red flag you do not want to sell anything that amazon is selling because amazon number one first of all this is an amazon basic item and obviously you're not going to be selling an amazon basic item but number one is that amazon can get the product cheaper than you can and they will actually sell the product at a loss they do not care um the name of the game for them is to bring traffic, bring people to their website to make sales and to dominate the market. So they will actually uh, sell at a loss to beat other sellers and uh, to beat other marketplaces. And number two, 
is even if they weren't selling at a loss, they can get it cheaper than you can. You cannot compete with Amazon. I promise you that right now. So what I'll do is I'll close this product and I'll move on to the next tab. Okay, here we go. Ships and sold by Amazon.ca. I'm not going to sell this one either. Close it. This is the same uh, brand, Arm & Hammer. Ships and sold by Amazon.ca. I will close it. We're not going to sell that. Okay, what do we have here? We have a pet trainer rechargeable rainproof uh, remote dog training collar. This is not being sold by Amazon, which is a very good sign, but it's being sold by iTronics. So there's two people currently selling this. Let me see here. I'll click into the sellers. Um, iTronics is selling it and Amazon, whoever this guy is. So. I'll dig a little bit further. Let's see if iTronics is the brand itself that is selling this product. I'll click into their storefront. Guys, this could be a good one. This brand here is selling just a whole bunch of different um, electronics. It's Thermo Pro for the most part. They're selling other pet trainer items. So this could be a private label product. But what I would do is I would look a little bit deeper now. Let's go back to the product page. Okay, so what is this? It's, it's sold by Pet Trainer. So I will literally take Pet Trainer, I'll copy that, and I would go into Google and search Pet Trainer. Now obviously it's going to come up with all this Amazon crap, but iPets slash mall.com so official site of pet trainer let's see what this is so now that I'm on the actual brand site itself what I would do is I would look to see if I can contact these guys how do I contact them and okay I can go up here let's see about no new support contact us now here they have a form here guys what I would do is I would write out my name my email order number okay Amazon uh, see here we go itronics so it looks like itronics is maybe their um, you know, it could either be their exclusive distributor or it could just actually be their Amazon account that's on Amazon itself. So in this case, I probably wouldn't go any further. I would go back to Amazon and close that down and I'd go to the next one. This one here is sold by Amazon. See, as you guys can see, this business is is about digging and putting in the work. Um, you're not going to just open up the first page and and find something right away. You got to go product for product. Is Amazon selling it? If not, that's great. We can move on to the next stage and do some more research. Um, and then you find out, well, who is the seller that is currently selling it? Is it a private label product? Because if it's a private label product, that means that the brand itself is selling that product and you're not going to sell that. They're not going to give you access to their product when they're already selling it. So if that's the case and it's a private label product like that one seemed to be, then you write it off and you just go on to the next product. What we're looking for, guys, is Amazon FBA sellers like me and you um, that are just random sellers that are carrying the product because that means that Amazon isn't carrying it, the brand itself isn't selling it, the brand is giving access to third party sellers like me and you to sell it on various marketplaces. So that's what we're looking for. So this one here, Amazon.ca is selling it. Amazon.ca selling it. Very repetitive, guys. Here's the same thing. This is Amazon Basics. Now guys, this method can take a little bit longer because a lot, you know, nine times out of 10 or 90, you know, 99 out of 100, we'll say, um, of these products, basically Amazon is going to be selling. 
or the brand itself is going to be selling because they're hot selling products and hot selling products get a lot of attention. But you, like, you know, you're searching for a needle in a haystack here, but when you finally do find a product, it's going to be something good. It's going to be something that sells great because it's up near the, the high up near the, you know, it's, it's one of the best sellers. So it's going to be selling amazing. And then you got to reach out to that brand. That's all you have to do. I'm trying to find something for you guys, but honestly, like you never know how long this could take. Especially all these brands. So I want to find another private label one. I think we're coming up on one that I could show you guys another example of what not to do. And you'll you'll also realize that at the at the or at the top of the best sellers, there's a lot of repeat brands, right? So um, like this uh, Friskies, whatever. I've, I think I've seen this a couple times now. Sold by Amazon. Okay, what is this? See, this is only one seller, so that that's usually a bad sign. That's usually that usually means that Rex Garden here is actually um, the seller of the only seller of uh, of this product. But we'll click in a little further. And let's see what Rex Garden also sells. Okay, Rex Garden sells all of tons of stuff from this brand. And they only sell stuff from this brand. So this looks like it's another private label seller. And they're currently private labeling all of the following products here. This actually is some pretty good information um, because looks like they're successful in selling all this stuff. I might actually save this information for myself and uh, maybe I can private label some of these items. So anyways, we'll close that, close that one down. I'm going to minimize that because I might use it later. Like I said, um, sold by Amazon, sold by Amazon. Okay. Here's a perfect example. The brand itself, Luma Leaf, it's sold by, or this is made by Luma Leaf and it's sold by Luma Leaf. So you obviously, and it's only one seller. You're obviously not going to sell this item, guys. Same thing as basically what I was just showing you. Just sometimes you have to dig a little bit further to find out because not every brand names their brand name and their seller name the same. That's all there is to it. Um, like I said, this is a numbers game. You need to keep on looking. And the way that I'm doing it now seems a little tedious and could be a little time consuming because you're literally going one item at a time from the best sellers. And like I said, 99 items out of 100 that you look on, you know, maybe not that kind of ratio, but um, they're either going to be the brand selling it itself or Amazon. But I do promise you that you will find products. This is exactly how I did it. I was very successful doing it. I still use this method to this day. This is how I was taught how to do this method. Um, and then basically, guys, what you would do, like I showed you, is that you would go to Google and you would actually search um, the brand name itself. Now, a major tip for you guys, let's just pretend that I was contacting this iPets uh, brand just like I was showing you before as an example. I put my name, my email, my message. Now my message here would basically be, you know, hi there. Um, I'd, I'd say hi. And now I usually have a little template that I would use just like copy and paste. Um, but I don't have it on this computer. I'd say hi there. My name is Josh from whatever your company, my name is Josh from company name, right? My name is Josh from company name. And we are very interested. Oh, you guys can't see. Oh, yeah, we are very interested in opening a retail account with you. Would you please be able to forward me the contact information to your sales department or a distribute distribute 
Tor. Why can't I spell that right now? Uh, or a distributor in the, you know, whatever area you're in, right? In the uh, Toronto, Canada region. Thank you, you know, you and then your uh, your sign off, you know. Thank you, Josh. Blah blah blah. So that's basically what I would do, guys. Um, you just have to keep it qu short and quick. You don't need to do anything elaborate. Just keep it professional. Hi, my name is Josh from company name. Um, I'm looking to open up a retail account with you guys. Can you please forward me to your sales department or a distributor wholesaler in my area? And these guys would be more than happy to get back to you. Um, they will forward your information either, they'll either connect you right away uh, through email, they'll copy you on an email to the, the right person, or they'll give you the email or phone number to the person that you want to be speaking with. Now, a major tip for you guys is when they do that and they give you the phone number or the email to the other person, it's the best part or the best thing to happen is when they just CC you, they copy you on an email and they send you to somebody else. But the next best thing is um, when you, when you, whoever's name this is, let's say it's Lisa at iPets that you're talking to when they get back to you and they say, yeah, contact Steve uh, at this distributor. Uh, distributor warehouse or whatever, right? This distributor company of ours. When you contact Steve, what you're going to want to say is, hey, Steve, Lisa from iPets sent me over to you. She referred me to you guys and uh, she referred us to open up a retail account with you guys. So we would like to do that. What type of necessary documents or requirements do you guys have in order, to us, in order for us to open up a retail account with you? Um, the reason you're going to want to word it like this is because when you say it's like a word of mouth referral type of thing, you're going to want to use that little piece of information as like a, um, like a ticket, like a, a key for you to get in to see Steve. Because um, it just sounds better if you're saying that the brand itself referred you over to, to that distributor's company. Because a lot of just a lot of a lot of distributors are not going to want to deal with you um, if you're just some random seller contacting them. But if you say that you were referred over from somebody from the brand, it looks a lot better. Um, sorry for repeating my myself, guys, but that is very important. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do, um, you know, things should go smooth sailing from there. The the distributor they might turn you down. Because for various reasons, like if you don't have a brick and mortar store or whatever, but there's a bunch of things that you guys can do to increase your odds of, of opening up a retail account. And a couple things, a couple of those things, I'm not going to get into it right now. I've already made a video on that on the minimum requirements for wholesale, like a business uh, tax number and a professional email. You guys can go back and see the first video that I have um, on wholesale in this little series, YouTube series. But that is basically the basics of this, guys. Um, reverse sourcing. The other way of doing this is basically just to go into Google itself and you can search um, Pet Supply Distributors Canada. Because I'm in Canada, you would do this for the U.S. or where, wherever. And then I would go down here and I would look, okay, what do you know? There is a Canadian pet connection. Um, this is a supply store. Let's open this up. This looks local. We're going to look open up this one as well. And let's just check these two out real quick. Okay, so this one here doesn't look that reputable. Distribution territories, although they do have a whole bunch of provinces that they are supplying. So, these guys might be good. Who knows? I would reach out to them, our suppliers. I would reach out to these guys, and they look. it looks like they carry a whole bunch of different prod good product names as well. I would reach out to these guys and say, hey, I'm interested in opening up a retail account with you guys and taking a look at your catalog. 
um, you know, let me know what I can do or what we have to do in order to open up a retail account with you guys. And, and that's basically it guys. So I would open up one with them. And where was the other one that I wanted to check out? This guy here. It's not showing me their websites. Wholesale pet supplies. Like guys, I might I might start selling some pet supplies here. So um let's see, you see contact us, see, and then you just Canada's premium pet supply wholesaler since 1986. See, these guys look a little more legit. I would go into these guys. They've got, you know, it looks like they they carry a bunch of stuff here. I go to the contact us and I would just fill this form out and that's it. Super easy guys. Um, like I said, it just takes time. It's a numbers game. Lots of digging involved. You're not going to find it on your first Google search. That's for sure. Um, if you think you're going to, if you give up after searching for 10 minutes, then this business model is not for you. Uh, you need to be able to handle hearing no and hearing rejections and not being able to find stuff and going, you know, sometimes an hour without finding anything and people not getting back to you and et cetera, et cetera. You have to really dig, 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 follow up on emails. If the, if the brand itself does not get back to you or the distributor, you need to pick up the phone and call them or you need to email them a second or third time until they take you serious. Um, remember, that the harder it is to get access to a brand or a distributor, the better the products are going to be. The, the more loot hoops you have to jump through, the better. Because most people will just stop at stage number one. They will not continue to keep digging. Most people are lazy. And they don't, you know, everybody wants to make money, but nobody wants to do the work. So if you're willing to do the work and you're willing to dig, I promise you that if you just follow this method of reverse sourcing and finding distributors this way, um, you will find profitable products and this will allow you to find the distributors. There's no secret to this, guys. This is it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you didn't know any of this stuff, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Lots more videos. My next video coming out is going to be about um, how to actually, uh, once you open up the account, how to go through the catalog and find the profitable products. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that guys. Keep an eye out. Please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or suggestions, hit me up in the comment section below. That's it guys. Thank you so much. Till next time. Peace.